our today's lecture will be about the spring spring is an elastic body or elastic member of any system which will deform when force is exerted on, exerted on it and it will regain its original shape when the force is removed so flexibility is the main property of the spring many times in engineering we need flexibility that need of the flexibility can be because of uh, anything so for that we can use the spring and this flexibility greatly depend on the geometry of the body means it depends on the size the shape and other parameters of that body the flexibility in the spring will be according to our need not more than that or not less than that so the design of the spring to bring the flexibility will be according to our need the flexibility in the spring can be linear or non-linear means if the deflection is directly proportional to the force that is exerted to distort spring then the flexibility will be linear and if there is any other relationship between the force and the distortion then the flexibility will not be linear it will be non-linear these are the diagrams of different types of springs this is helical compression spring why it is called compression spring it is because when you exert a force over here or put a mass on top what will happen is that its length will be decreased or it will be compressed that is why it is called helical compression spring this is helical extension spring there is almost nearly zero gaps between the curves of the spring that is why it cannot be further compressed but when it is forced from the opposite sides it will extend and its length will get increased this is the leaf spring which is you may have observed it that it is used in cars and other vehicles it is used to take the load of that vehicle this is the torsion spring upon exertion of the force there will be torsion in the spring you might have seen it in the cloth clampers when you clamp your clothes outside to dry it with the clamper and this type of spring is used in that clamper you can also see it on your paperboard as well the spring that is used to clamp your paper in exam hall that is also torsional spring now what are the uses of the spring so a spring can be used to absorb or control the energy which is obtained from the shocks or the vibrations for example shock absorbers in the car when a car is moving on a bumpy road there will be vibration and shocks now in order to do not reach these shocks or vibrations to the car body shock absorbers are used this is the spring which is used in the shock absorbers another use of the spring is that it can store and release energy its example is setting clock on alarm and it is also used in the toys this is the diagram of the toy now if this toy is moved in forward direction now look at this spring this spring will distort or deform so energy will be stored inside it now if you leave it freely due to the stored energy the toy will move back and we also use the spring to store energy in the spring of the clock to set the alarm this method was used when mobile was not so common the energy was stored in the spring and when that time was reached then that energy was released and sound energy was produced and then we have another use of the spring in piston cylinder engine at the intake and exhaust wall this is the piston this is that cylinder the piston move up and down in this cylinder these are those springs when this piston will move downward the pressure in the cylinder would start decreasing the air will try to enter the cylinder because the atmospheric pressure is greater than the uh, pressure inside this cylinder and will exert the force on the valve which transmit that force to the spring when this pressure is reduced by a considerable amount then the air will be able to open the intake wall and will enter the cylinder now in the compression stroke the intake wall will, will get closed after the combustion the exhaust wall will open in the same way and the combustion product will be exhausted spring is used in the spring balance to measure the weight here we have used these two springs and when mass is attached to these springs the pointer will rotate and will show mass on the scale now let's talk about the types of springs there are different types of springs uh, let's discuss some of them in this lecture the first one is helical compression spring this spring is helical in nature means its shape as helical or coil like compression means that it, if it is exerted by a force it will be compressed or its length will get decreased you can see in the animation this is how it is compressed now let's move on to the next type which is helical extension spring it is also helical extension means its length will get increased by a force exerted in opposite directions to extend it this is how it looks like if you hold it from the end points and exert tensile forces in opposite directions away from one another 
it will be extended like this this is its animation it is holding from this end and is forced to extend now what is constant force spring you have seen the example of the toy this spring is used in the toys let's say when this spring is holded from this point and forced in this direction it will open or become straight like this when the force is released it will regain its shape now billable spring in billable spring different discs are connected something like this with each other when it is forced from the top it can be compressed like this this is its diagram this is the animation for it these are the billable spring another type of a spring is conical spring its shape will be like a cone means gradually its diameter will increase or decrease this is that shape of the cone when force is exerted to compress it at this point or where the diameter is small the deflection will be greater and at the bot bottom the deflection will be small this is the animation for the conical spring this is how it can be extended or compressed then we have constant stress cantilever spring this is the cantilever beam and if you exert force at this point it will be deflected like this and after the removal of the force it will regain its shape so cantilever beam is also a spring because because upon the load spring is deflected so is the cantilever beam and both regain its original shape after removal of the force this is another diagram for the cantilever beam or cantilever spring deflected under the load and it will regain its shape when force is removed then we have another type of spring which is laminated or leaf spring this spring is used to take the load of the heavy vehicle in this animation you can see these are the laminated springs which are used to take the load of this car it looks something like this this is one leaf spring below which there are series series of leaf spring and you can see the length gradually decreases for the leaf it is because it will allow some deflection this is another animation of a car moving through a bumpy road these are th those laminated springs used to take the load of the car our lectures on the spring will be continued stay with us thank you